For the next 24 hours, I'm going to challenge myself to make super tiny things in Lego, starting with over 50 simple ideas to a full-on city. So anyway, let the challenge begin. Okay, now I know Lego alone is really small, but we're going to have to make it even smaller. So something like this ship in a bottle set no. won't work, Chief, but something like this Lego bottle with a tiny ship printed on it, now that's crack a lacking. Because of that, we're going to need super small pieces because they contain a lot of detail in a small amount of space. So it looks like we won't be needing these big and chunky pieces. Pieces. Because of that, I went digging through my bins to find random tiny pieces and then try to find ways to use them. What can we do with a brush? Well, it has a lot of texture on it, and if you lay it upwards, it kind of looks like a tree that you'd find in the fall. What about a book? It can open at different angles, so it kind of looks like a tent if you place it down. Okay, now it's time to really challenge myself. What can I do with the banana? Well, aside from feeding it to my mini figs, after like an hour of thinking, I realized it kind of looks like a water slide, I guess. What about one of these transparent domes? It reminds me of one of those like force fields that go around those cities on like a different planet where aliens live. This is what living on Mars will be like. These are candlestick pieces and they kind of look like columns on a building. But if you take these railing pieces, they also kind of look like columns on a building. Oh, what's up, Yoda? Also, if you take one of these lifeguard floaties, lay it down and then put two studs inside of it, it looks like a little boat full of people. And for my favorite build, call me a genius for this one, I used hot dogs to make a roller coaster. Lego, hire me right now. Okay, now it's time to think fast. I set my timer for five hours and challenge myself to see what I could make. Okay, so first off, I wanted to see how I could make a single tree in Lego. Well, your boy kind of overdid it a little bit and made 26 of them. This kind of looks like the Amazon rainforest. This tree is the tiniest and is literally just a stud. This next tree uses a green cone piece. This one has a blade. Here's a tree that uses one bar and two leaves. These two both use flower stems. And for this one, I took three stems and placed them upside down. This one uses round plates. These three all use a sideways building technique. More studded trees. These ones have plates and bricks at angles. Here's a dead tree that uses two minifigure hands and a carrot stem. And this one's supposed to look like a Japanese blossom tree, and I just used a pink ice cream piece for it. This tree got absolutely destroyed. Here's a slightly different palm tree, and another palm tree. Another tiny tree. Acacia tree, just like this one. Then if you grab a chicken, make it lay an egg, then it looks like a tree covered in snow. My ears hurt now from all those dings, and I think I'm definitely good looking at trees now. Ow, 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 okay, please stop. Okay, so our next category is transportation. So I went to Google and searched up every vehicle possible and just made a bunch of them. Starting with this tractor. This thing only took 12 pieces to make. To my surprise, a baby stroller is considered a vehicle. Huh? Not sure how, but I made one in Lego anyway. Your boy's about to get so many speeding tickets. <laughs> I'm a 20 year old man doing this by the way. Here's a skateboard. It literally is just a jumper plate and a unicycle. It can't really stand up. Here's my attempt to make a motorcycle. I really tried on this. I realized if you take one of these triangular tiles, it kind of looks like a hang glider. And here's a tiny car. Or you can make a smaller version that only uses two pieces. Or you can make one using a single roller skate. Similar to that car, I made a tank and I used a minifig hand for the gun on top. Here's one of those modern trains that go through cities. I also made this excavator. Let's go see if it actually actually works and it does get dirt. Okay, what about air vehicles? First, I made this biplane with a tiny propeller on the front. Here's my attempt to make a passenger plane like you see at the airports. I then took a balloon and then made a hot air balloon out of it. And another hot air vehicle I made is this blimp. And lastly, here's a helicopter I made. And finally, water vehicles. Here's a sporty jet boat I made. And here's a wooden ship, and you can see it's being eaten by one of those creepy octopuses that for some reason love eating ships. I also built this cargo ship, and for the cargo crates, I used a bunch of pieces in different colors. And here's my tiny version of the Titanic. Here's a log cabin. And for the chimney smoke, I used a hat plume. And here's another house. Wait, guys, you were supposed to finish it like an hour ago. Why are you guys still building it? I'm going to come back in 30 seconds and you better be done. Here's a tiny version of the Leaning Tower of Pisa. And this is the Sphinx from Egypt. I didn't have the hat in the right color. Sorry. I just realized if you put a lot of these builds next to minifigs, they look like Lego sets. Okay, now it was time to interact with my subscribers. So I went onto my YouTube, put a post up asking what you wanted to see me make small in Lego. And a lot of you guys wanted Star Wars stuff. So here's a small version of the Death Star. The only inaccurate thing about this is that it hasn't blown up.
I also made a Republic gunship, which is a vehicle from the second movie. And then I also made a super small replica of the Millennium Falcon. And for all of my Marvel fans, here's a small replica of the Avengers Tower. Oh, look at Spider-Man. Here's one of the Great Pyramids of Giza. And here's a man who's fallen in a river in Lego City. But to save him, we need to deploy the rescue helicopter and save the day. Lego, hire me for doing your commercials. Someone wanted me to make a soccer field, so here's one. Or, or football depending on where you are in the world. Someone wanted me to make a Minecraft build, so here's a small chunk that I made. Up top is a village with some tiny little villagers and my boy Steve, and beneath that is a cave full of lava, water, and within the rocks I added iron, lapis, emerald, redstone, and even diamonds. And for a more challenging build, someone wanted me to make a floating city, so I kind of had to use my imagination here, and I made a floating castle on a giant rock. I used a sideways building technique to make the rock, and I used a bunch of these tiny slopes up top for roofs and to make it look like it's really in the air I use some transparent pieces and put a cloud beneath it which uses some of these technic pieces to impersonate rain okay how's the progress on the house looking oh cool it's done all right there you go, guys. That's the house I was talking about. Okay, I've made over 60 different things in Lego, and I kind of feel like a sensei at this point. So it's time to take my true wisdom and make something pretty ambitious, like a city. I usually see a city as a place with a bunch of tall buildings, so let's just make a bunch of tall buildings. Wow, that was pretty easy. No sweat. Oh, wait, I just realized something. We can't use nope. Lego sets because that's considered cheating. Mm. I did find these special pieces though that look like windows on a skyscraper, so we can go ahead and use these. This one's supposed to be an apartment building. These three use a sideways building technique. This one looks like a triangle and I used hinges. These two use jumper plates and it's cool because I placed each level at a different angle. Like this one spirals upwards. When you're building at this scale, the smallest details count, so I even use the tiny grooves on these plates to separate the levels on this building. This skyscraper is pretty futuristic looking. This one was inspired by the Burj Khalifa, which is the tallest skyscraper in the world. These two skyscrapers have a bridge connecting them, and this skyscraper has a swimming pool on top, and it also has one of those large advertisements like you see in Times Square, New York. And I made even more. Okay, if I make one more skyscraper, I'm gonna be mad like this guy. So now it's time to take what we have and actually put it all together in one big city. Okay, we got our roads done. I then went ahead and started laying out space for the buildings to go. Okay, so I left studs so the buildings can connect. Everything else is tiled so it looks clean. Now we can start adding our buildings. That looks pretty good. I didn't like the color of the road, so I changed it to black. Looks better. Also, the city's looking too much like a concrete jungle, so I added a park with some trees. That way, people can also breathe as well. I had one empty space, and I wanted to add a port. Let's see if this works. Whoa, that's sick, it worked. And then I added some of the water vehicles we made earlier. And all we had to do now was move in our citizens. And just like that, our city is complete and our citizens are happy. Oh, come on, man. Can we go five minutes without falling into a river? What did I learn from this challenge? Well, I used to think that building small was boring as heck, but even with just a few small pieces, you can still be creative and design beautiful things in Lego. Wow, that's so powerful. I'm about to cry. No, I'm just kidding, guys. Next video, I'm becoming a rich person in Lego, so wish me luck.